It's tacky, it's dated, we hate it. Let's all agree to just stop doing it. Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are talking all about dated home trends. Now, I did a dated home trends video that I love and so many of you are eating it up and you totally agree, so I thought let's make a part two about things that we all hate, that we all agree we hate, that are tacky dated and we hate them. Now be sure you're subscribed to the channel for more videos like this. Make sure you have the bell notifications turned on to get notified every time I upload a video. Is this dated? Are these tacky? Do you hate them? Also, you should. And if you don't, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that there's bigger issues at hand. But we have got a lot of trends to go over and get through. So let's get into the video. Now, the first dated home trend feature decorating idea that never should have brought here in the first place is the wallpaper border. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say I've never had it before. You know, I was maybe seven or eight and it was blue and green and had dinosaurs on it, but that was the only time it was acceptable. The wallpaper border, it's like, what were we thinking at the time? The wallpaper is coming back so hard right now. Let us hope that the border does not come back also. It never made any sense. It was like either at the top of the wall or at the middle of the wall. And it's like, oftentimes the wallpaper border was more expensive than just adding real trim. Anyway, so just don't do wallpaper borders. Add actual trim, beautiful crown molding. You can do like a, a, a chair rail, a dato rail, as my friends in Europe would say. There's a lot of interesting things you can do outside of like a wallpaper border. Let's leave it where it is, leave it in the past, rip it out because it's done, we're done with that, it's finished, over, completion, it's done. The next thing that makes your home look dated, the next thing that is just dated and tacky and gross is furniture collections. Now I've mentioned this a few times, I talked about this in my Stop Taking This Design Advice, I've talked about this in my Design Mistakes You're Making video, which will both be linked in the description down below that they just the furniture set is not the vibe so i don't want you i'm not going to be that person that is like don't get the set get a set like get two matching sofas get a dresser and two nightstands like get a set of furniture because it makes sense and it works together but like does every table in your house have to match does the furniture set have to match the living room set and the dining room set no get a dining room table and you can get the matching coffee table that works but then get sofas that are different get some chairs that are different mix it up a little bit create a little bit of contrast but you can still get a set of furniture just don't go for these like whole collections that are just like tacky dated and gross even like the nice ones that are brand new and that are like very in and very trendy they still just don't look good together like you don't have to get every single thing that is like a collection that's made to work together that is a part of a matching set get two things that are cohesive that flow that that work together because it creates a good grounding element and continuity within your space and through your home but don't get every single thing that matches because it's just tacky it's dated this is like some like rooms to go 90s trend that is just not the vibe it wasn't the vibe at the time it is not it now don't do it major major like dated thing the next thing that makes your home look dated is faux distressed anything faux distressing is just not the vibe like it never was it never looked good it doesn't look real you can like actually distress things like you can get vintage furniture you could paint furniture you have and then sand it down a little bit like you want to have the texture to go alongside that distressing no matter what your style is whether you like boho or shabby chic or farmhouse or whatever don't go for anything that's like fake distressed when you can like actually just really distress things like it's really not that hard you just like like rub the corner or something and like scratch some of the paint off boom it's distressed like why would you pay for fake distressing because it's usually just like some brown paint smeared on it like it doesn't look real it doesn't look good it doesn't look genuine authentic it doesn't look like a good quality piece of furniture it looks like something you bought online that was like assembly required and you made in your living room you probably missed a few screws so it probably is like wobbly too let's just avoid faux distress anything at all costs the next thing that makes your home look dated are blinds now i'm a fan of blinds i like a fabric blind i like a honeycomb blind i'm not even mad at wood blinds shutters are great too you could do a roman shade beautiful but what, 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 whatever was with the mini blinds? Like, how was that ever a thing? How was it ever in? It's not, it's either like gross metal that gets like crusty and disgusting or like plastic that's like flimsy and like, it's not the vibe. Like, this is, this is not like a, a detective movie where you're like peeking through the blinds. Like, what is that? No, that's not the vibe. And the vertical blind, do I need to say more? This is not it, especially like 
they break, they look terrible, they're just like not it, they like uh, uh. The next thing that is making your home look dated is the recliner. Now some people like a recliner, some people like to lounge and lay back or whatever. It to each their own, but like, let's just not buy any more recliners. And you could do a recliner that's really elevated, that's not really a recliner, that's not like, you know, the chair with the button on the side or like the arm you pull, like that's just not it. You could go for a beautiful Eames chair, you can go for something really interesting, something that has a little bit of a modern flair to it, something that, maybe it's not even a modern flair, but it's just like really well disguised as like not being some like tacky, gross, like reclining situation and like the reclining sofas. I can't. And let me just clarify this. This is not a movie theater. If you have a movie theater in your home, love that for you, invite me over. But your living room is not a movie theater. You don't need to be like lounging in the recliner eating popcorn. Like that's just, is that the vibe? Like is that, maybe that's what you want in your house. I want to like enjoy my space and it to be comfortable. I want to lounge and like lay back and relax. But like why? Does it require a recliner to do that? I don't feel like it does. I feel like I can like lounge on a really beautiful sofa that is like a down filled cushions or something like that that's like more comfortable than a recliner because then you're just kind of like The next trend, the next thing that is making your house look dated are barn doors for the sake of them. I'm not mad at a barn door. Let's just make that clear. Like a barn door can be useful. It can be effective, especially if you need that privacy or like you need to have a door there, but you just don't have the space for a door swing or a pocket door or whatever. Cause they're, you know, like pocket doors are very difficult to install after the fact. So a barn door can be great. Um, I'm not mad at a barn door. Barn doors have become very overplayed very quickly, which is a problem. And the reason for that being is that people are just putting them in places so that they can be like, I have a barn door. You don't need a barn door if you don't need a door there. Like if, if there's no reason to have a door, you don't need a barn door. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people that actually have doors and then add a barn door. Like you, like there's actually a door there. Why do you need a barn door if there's actually a door? It makes no sense. It doesn't look good. It looks stupid, but it also looks a little bit dated when we're having like barn doors everywhere. It gets super old, super quick. So if you need to have a barn door, if it's going to like add to the functionality of that space, a barn door is great. But if you don't need to have a barn door and you're just like, I really want a barn door. Don't put a barn door where you don't need a barn door. Okay. Don't put a barn door over a door. It's like, this isn't, this isn't a barn. First of all, secondly, Maybe you want to live in a barn, then go live in a barn where there are actual barn doors. Like you don't need to have barn doors everywhere in your house. If it adds to the functionality of a space, a barn door is great, but don't just have a barn door for the sake of having a barn door. The last thing that is making your house look, feel dated is the balance. Now a balance is like bangs. They're not for everybody. They don't work on most people. You've got to have a specific face shape to make bangs work. My best friend has bangs. They work on her. Bangs are not for everybody. You've got to have the like personality to pull off bangs. And it's the same thing with a valance. The valance that's like fabric and it's like a little bit like ruffly. Mm -mm. No, it just doesn't ever look good. It looks really dated. And there's a lot of designers that like them. I'm not one of them. I don't like a valance. I prefer the curtains just to go up to the ceiling. We don't need to have something that like goes over. It doesn't really add to the effectiveness. In my opinion, I think it can look decent when it's like flat and then you do um, like a, a trim on it or something really beautiful like that to enhance it. I think, you know, I think that looks good. It looks very luxurious, but like the, the like pattern balance that like is like roughly it's mm, just take the balance out. Just take it down and do a beautiful curtain rod and you're good to go. You know I'm all about avoiding the trends. Investing in your personal style is always going to make a space feel timeless, feel classic, and feel beautiful. Just like I broke down in my sophisticated simplicity video, I definitely recommend you check it out. There's so much useful information, and this style is classic and timeless and beautiful, and we can all draw from it a little bit to enhance the beauty and effortlessness and timelessness of our space. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below. What are some other dated home trends that are just tired, that are tacky, that you are not feeling, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a video, and I will see you in the next one.